Bien, je commentaire de l'honorable member pour Courtney Alberni. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, for, for months we've been hearing from the government that they're going to be there for the transportation industry, for the aerospace sector, and they keep talking about delivering a plan. It, they've been saying this since the spring, Madam Speaker. We have not seen them roll out a plan to uh, ensure that part of COVID recovery and, and getting through the recovery, they're going to help protect workers, whether it even be the wage subsidy. There's no stipulation that those jobs are actually tied to the wage subsidy and securing those jobs. We, we, we've been hearing from the uh, workers in that sector and they've been looking for support. We met with Unifor last week and they're talking about 11,000 workers that are at risk right now. And they, they need a national aerospace indus, industrial strategy that creates high quality jobs, a strong supply chain and a thriving commercial and defense sector, but also by promoting Canadian made aircraft in Canada and abroad. Does my colleague agree that the government's been dragging their feet and uh, the importance of this sector, especially in his right like my riding, we both have uh, aerospace, uh, you know, uh, jobs at risk. I have to give a few seconds to the honourable member from Pitt Meadows, uh, Maple Ridge, to answer. Yes, the uh, aerospace industry is so important. I know in, in my region also that that uh, there are many many employees that work in it, and uh, we need to do what, all that we can, and uh, not. Uh, but it seems like that. The opposite is actually ha happening. And I will just uh, finish with the infrastructure spending is, uh, where is it? There's supposed to be $100 billion committed. We don't see it.